So let's have a look what the life really looks like uh, in, uh, in uh, the Lofoten area uh, at the moment. The Barents Sea cod comes into the Lofoten area here each year to spawn. In cold years, the spawning grounds are south of Lofoten. In warmer years, the spawning grounds are northwards. And throughout the last three years, the spawning grounds have moved even more north and eastwards. Hmm. It seems to be quite good. The fishermen don't have to go very far from their harbor. They can catch quite a lot and they are happy this year. These are newspapers just for last month and they are having huge catches. But in this coastal area, we have the local cod stock as well. And this cod stock is rather small. It's only 10% of the total stock in the whole Barren Sea. So pay attention to, oh, I'm sorry, to the fact that we are having a different axis here. This is only 10% of the huge Northeast Atlantic cod stock. But as the two of them overlap more in warm years, co coastal cod has been targeted in the same fishery as the Northeast Atlantic cod. So the, what happens is that there is a quite dramatic reduction in the coastal cod stock and it's below sustainability at the moment. And there is no real action in trying to, to hinder this. Okay, we have two minutes left. Yeah. Let's see uh, how, um, what the situation is like on the other side of the Atlantic. Here we see the ground fish stock, mainly dominated by cod. As you see, it dropped in the 90s and the shrimp fishery increased. This is now an evertebrate system with quite a lot of crustaceans giving a good catch and given even more money than the previous ground fish fishery. This is called a regime shift, usually caused by temperature and fisheries. And this seems to be the case also here. We see that the catch, catch rate declined. There was high uh, catches in the fi fi fish, fishing of, of ground fish and the temperature decreased. This was probably the reason for the collapse of a cod stock and the shrimp getting the possibility to come up as the top control vanished. However, one would suspect that when the temperature increased again and the fishery is not present, the cod stock should come up again, but it doesn't. It stays on the same low level. And one may ask, what is the reason? I think personally, but the reason is that there is a huge expansion of the shrimp stock. It is in new areas, in areas where the cod used to spawn. And we observe in the laboratory that the aggressive shrimp larvae is feeding on the cod larvae. And there are several other crustaceans as well, and they are all very aggressive in their larval stage, up in the pelagic zone, in the same area where the cod, uh, cod, is, <coughs> where the cod larvae is. So, I finally want to draw some conclusions. In the Northeast Atlantic, we have top-down control, low temperature, low diversity, and this causes low resilience. This information should be used when doing our ecosystem management. This is information that is vital for our ecosystem. The climate change and the fisheries are likely to result in regimes, regime shifts in our ecosystems. And fish, but also industry and society adapt to these changes. This we call the shifting baseline syndrome. Everybody seems quite, or most of the people seem quite happy with the situation, having only shrimp catch in the Canadian waters because they still make money. So the question is, what is the objective of our management, or our ecosystem management in this case? Is it to reach back to the level where we had cotton shrimp, or are we happy with a 
catch on a lower trophic level. And the increased temperature will increase production and species richness. But on the other hand, the uncertainty certainly increases, and we know less what is coming, to ha what is coming in the future. So, we need to strengthen the precautionary approach in our fisheries management and practice. And this is because we know that management regime has a greater importance than the ecosystem, predicted um, ecos uh, climate ch uh, change in the future. And the, as I told you, uncertainty is increasing. And finally, we are actually able to do something about the fishery at this very moment, while controlling climate change will take time. So, thank you very much for your attention.